Harry and Meghan Markle are just the punchline to every joke. Tucker Carlson uses them as an example of people with absolutely no credibility, who everyone thinks is a joke, called him a douchey fake prince and his dumb wife from Santa Monica. Back in December, Tucker Carlson bashed Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's documentary series on Netflix in front of hundreds of thousands of viewers. Around half a million viewers tune in to watch Tucker Carlson tonight, the highest rating primetime news show in the US. Speaking last night, Mr. Carlson ripped into the couple as desperate ex-royals who crave attention. In a monologue, the Fox News primetime host described Meghan as a fake duchess from Los Angeles. He said, They're still talking about themselves because they're victims and somehow they got a Netflix documentary about themselves. Mr. Carlson discussed a scene where Meghan Markle recounts being told to curtsy in front of the late Queen. He said, She said she can't believe she had to curtsy. No, that's the whole reason you pursued her grandson, so you could be involved in all of this because you have no other talents. You don't think of narcissism as its own genre of television, but it's become one. Mr. Carlson then urged Meghan Markle to go back to Long Beach. Harry and Meghan had entered their roast era. They were now firmly the butt of the joke. Two years ago, when the Hollywood celebrity couple formerly known as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex first started to share their truth, we leaned in. After the Oprah interview, the world was hungry for more of Harry and Meghan's truth, and they delivered it in spades. First came the six-part Netflix documentary, then Harry's memoir. This is when the tide began to turn on the couple. In the weeks following its release, we learnt so much about the most intimate parts of Harry's life, most of it against our will. Things like the fact he lost his virginity to an older woman in a field behind a pub who rode him like a horse, and that he once had a frostbitten penis. Prince Harry's fatal flaw was giving us too much of a glimpse behind the facade. Royal commentator and author Daniela Elsa said Harry and Meghan are not famous enough to translate their media buzz into effortless professional success. When Harry released his guided missile of a tell-all spare in January, the Jimmy Kimmel show first did a sketch mocking the altercation between the Duke and his brother, with two actors dressed up as the singer Prince, she noted. This would all be a bit of a giggle, if it wasn't for the fact that the Sussexes are starting to look less like power players and more like a punchline. We wondered aloud through memes and funny recaps how we know so much about Harry's private parts when he keeps telling us that all he wants is privacy. Then came the South Park episode titled The Worldwide Privacy Tour. You know things have taken a turn when South Park makes an entire episode dedicated to you. And finally, Chris Rock dedicated several minutes of his live Netflix special to joking about Meghan Markle's experiences with racism, the one thing we thought was untouchable. So it seems Harry and Meghan's journey through the shock to empathy to comedy pipeline is complete. 